Tony's my time, it's my time with Tony. Me, I'm Tony, and these are the mods. My time. Welcome to my time with Tony. It is Friday the 16th. We got new mods today. Let's go check them out. Starting off with the custom production sawmill. Looks like a sawmill to me. It's 50 grand. Wood and wood chips in. Boards, furniture, and wood chips out. So, yeah. I don't know. Got the recipes up there. I don't know if there's anything different about this. I, I, It's escaping me. If you guys notice something, let me know down in the comments. But it is a custom production sawmill. Everything today is going to be all platforms, unless I specifically tell you. Because there's only three PC-only mods today. So most of this stuff is for everyone. Next, we got a farm entrance. It's got a few different variations. You got the gate. You got the tops on it. You got the the sort of little bridge to drive over for, for ditches. It is very nice looking. I mean, this is not a giant sexy mod. Doesn't change the way you play the game, but it's just a good looking gate. Looks nice. Well done. I like it. 700 bucks too. Next, this one is PC only. Because it's a pallet and bale warehouse. Wow. A pallet and bale warehouse revamp. Production revamp is required for this. Can store and outsource pallets and bales. All your production stuff. Big bag pallets, bales, straw hay, all that good stuff. Cotton, which is interesting. It's 50 grand. Holds 8 million liters, so that's big. Again, production revamp is required. The known bugs is a known bug for all of these pallet storages. Is that the rounding area, you lose a liter of the product. So if you put 1,000 in, you get 999 out. So it causes a few things here and there where you can have like one pallet stuck in there but it's not a big deal i've used these before these are great next we got a farmhouse 10 grand it's got a sleep trigger nice little rustic looking house another house this looks like sort of like an english cottage 85.5 it's definitely more expensive than the last one but it does have your sleep trigger in your wardrobe Next, we got a shed with a patch. Another nice little shed. I like the look of this one. It's got a drive through in the middle, 10 to 15 grand, depending on which. Open and closed walls. You got let the sun and the wind through, or you put the walls up. Both look great. These are nice little sheds. Who knew I'd be excited about sheds? Next, we got a big storage hall. It says machines and bales can be stored in here, bulk material, grain of wood chips, high concrete walls, 10 rolling doors. That's a lot of doors. Bunch of large windows. Now the only thing is the price, 336 grand. That is a lot of cash. 14 by 47 meters. It's a nice looking building, but it is kind of expensive. Next we got the machine shed with workshop. Another nice looking building. Big openings there on the left. 70 grand. Three sectional doors and a workshop built into the hall. It is cool looking. I like this one too. Next, we got a vehicle workshop. 225 grand. This is going to be sort of like a... Uh, I mean, it's a workshop. It's it's more than you need for a workshop. This is going to be, you know, aesthetics and, and RP and more than just a workshop. I mean, you could put a workshop anywhere. But this this looks like an actual garage. You know, maybe a dealership garage it's it's again it's excellent looking if this is the style you want to go for and you want to you know put this down and have at it i think this is a good mod 225 grand next we got the brazilian pigsty small little pigsty 43 pigs 24 grand again nothing wrong with this looks nice it says they they eat practically anything and don't require much investment in feed I don't know if he's changed the recipes or not. We'll have to test that out. If you download this, let me know. Another piece of only my cabin panels. I don't understand this one at all. Allows you to control your tool from a box attached to connect in the cab of the vehicle. So it puts a little box in the cab. It's got like four switches on it. Fold, unfold, activate, deactivate, raise, lower, empty on the ground, empty in the object. It only works on certain vehicles with certain tools. I don't know. I guess... I don't know. Somebody figure this out. Put down in the comments how this works. I'm lost. Next, we got the weight section. 
This one's an old rusty weight made of stone. It is rusty and made out of stone. I'm guessing the straps are rusty, but let's move on. 600 kilos for 650 bucks. It's a good looking piece of stone weight. Next we got the weight, 2,500, 1,800, and 1,200 kilos. Much more traditional. You got colors, lights, and brands. 1,200 bucks to 2,500 bucks, which makes sense. Next we got the tractor front shield. Again, I'm confused. I'm pretty sure this came out yesterday. It's out again today. It's not been updated. Was it pulled? Is it put back on? Is it put back on again? I don't know. But it's the same one as yesterday. Next. Another, the last PC only mod for today is the Underhog. 11,400. Double bail spike by the Norwegian manufacturer. Underhog. I hope I said that right. It is 1,250 bucks. You got color and tine options. Next, we got the Lizard Trailed Wind Rower by Hispano. We've gone over these. I put some of these on my maps today. They are really nice. They, they operate well. They, I mean, this one's got some realism because it's got the PTO going. They, they are good. This one's 45,600. 10.3, 12, 16, and 20 whopping meters. So it's big. It works. I actually used the front wind rower today on my playthrough, and it worked really well. 150 up to 350 horsepower. So that, that's kind of high, but it makes sense. You got 24 types of tires. That is a lot of tires. Configure sticker. So you can make this any brand you want. The colors work as well. You can make this look like any brand you'd like. The color system is really nice on it. Work lights. And uh, it, it's a really well done mod. If you do a lot of grass work, hay stuff, pick, pick these up. Next, we got the Lizard GBW J4027. Little trailer. I mean, that's all it is. $2,799. You got tire configurations, ramp spacing adjustment. It's a nice, flat, little, small trailer. Put a little Z-Tour on there or a skid steer or something. We got rollers. RDC 4500 5500 bucks. 4.5 meters, 80 horsepower required. You know, three ro rollers hooked together. It's going to roll stuff. Lizard Slurry 2700. Guess how many liters it is? Yep, 2700 liters for 4500 bucks. Nine meter spread. It's got two two methods of spreading. It says you can choose either spray at the back, which is normal, or spray from the cannon. You can drive on a flat road and spray from a cannon far into steep slopes. I don't know how that happens, how often, but you know, it's got a poop cannon basically. So, yeah, thumbs up. The Horse Toronto 3FX. It's a three meter cultivator. It's got the seed thing, but it's a three meter cultivator. So we're just going to move on. I'm sorry, Mantrid. Or, sorry, Jonas. I'm sorry, Jonas. It's a three meter cultivator. I'm sure it's a fantastic mod, but I've had my fill of three meter cultivators. Next, we got Mantrid makes the lizard Sadie. I think this is my favorite mod of the day. It is. A compact cleaner for all your ground follow cleanup needs. So it will scoop up everything off the ground like a vacuum. But it basically what it does is it's going to make your TMR. It's going to mix your animal feed, your straw. It's got a left, right, and rear unload options. It's got cover designs, dance dashboards, and all that good stuff. Switches and levers, wheel options, color choices. But here's the cool part. Capacity of 25,000, 100,000 for Unreal. And it's got a 50,000 midpoint for enhanced. 100,000 liter, you can make TMR in there. I think that's awesome. 88 grand, pretty cheap too. Unrealistic stuff for console, I always love. And then lastly, the debatable one, the lizard turntable ladder, 23, 12cc. You can get different rim colors, upgrade to the modern blue light. You can upgrade to the old blue light. It's 26,700 bucks, 266 horsepower. It's under vehicles miscellaneous. It's a it's a fire truck. With a with a with a bucket. You can raise the bucket up. Lift it up into the sky. It's got standard load DLK 2312, which I don't know what that is. It's got a power generator, high performance ventilator, rescue and ab sailing equipment. I don't know what any of that is. Power saw and basket turning pipe. 
It's got simple IC, so you're going to be able to operate a little bunch of stuff on there. Had a question yesterday on what simple IC is. It's a PC-only mod where it allows you to interact with your mouse with different things like opening doors or uh, different compartments in there or moving things around in, in cab. It's a neat mod if, if you like that sort of thing. But this is a fire truck. Is this belong in farm sim? That was the debate today. Is this does this is this necessary for farm sim? My, you know, I think if if somebody gets some enjoyment out of it, then it then it's it's a worthy mod. Put it in there. I may not use this. You may not use this, but somebody will love this mod and have a great time role playing as a fire department. So the more the merrier. The more options we have, the better. So I say go for it. That's our mods for today. If you guys like these videos, hit that like, hit that subscribe. Feel free to leave comments down below. Anything I've missed, because I know I miss stuff. But until next time, that is... Tony's my time, it's my time with Tony. Me, I'm Tony, and these are the mods. My time!